Hey guys, welcome to Jinxing Impact Part 2. If you did watch the previous part 1 that I have uploaded, it was kind of short, so we have a longer length in this one, so do enjoy. Don't be afraid. It's all right now. I'm back. Is he talking to a dragon? <gasps> Who's there? What was that? Paimon thought we were gonna get eaten. Hmm. It definitely has something to do with that weirdo who was talking to the dragon. Yeah. Paimon gets why you're worried. Oh! What's that? There's some kind of shiny red thingy on the big rock over there. Let's go take a closer look. Be careful. Paimon doesn't have a good feeling about this. Paimon's never seen a stone like this before, so Paimon can't tell what it is. All Paimon knows is that it's dangerous. Best we put it away for now. Okay, we've got it. Now let's get out of here! May the Animo God protect you, stranger. I am Amber, outrider for the Knights of Favonius. You don't look like citizens of Mondstadt. Explain yourselves. We're not looking for trouble. That's what all the troublemakers say. Doesn't sound like a local name to me. And this... Mascot? What's the deal with it? I mean, we've only been traveling partners for two months, but... We've already become the very best of friends. So to sum it up, you're traveling partners, right? Well, look, there's been a large dragon sighted around Mondstadt recently. Best you get inside the city as soon as possible. It's not far from here. I'll escort you there. Oh, aren't you out here for some other reason? I am, but not to worry. I can keep you both safe while doing that too. Besides, I'm still not sure if I can trust you two just yet. Oh, uh, I'm sorry. Probably not something I should say as a knight. I 
give you my apologies, uh, strange yet respectable travelers. That sounded so fake! Do you have something against the type of language usage prescribed by the Knights of Havonius Handbook? Suspicious travelers, what are you doing in Mondstadt? He got separated from his sister during a really, really long journey. Paimon is his travel buddy, helping him to find his sister. Oh, looking for your family? Huh. Uh... Okay, let me finish my other stuff first, and then I can help you put up posters around the city. What exactly is it you need to finish doing first? Simple. You'll understand in a bit. Uh, a hilly churl. to the city recently. My task this time is to clear out their camp. a little with your moves there. Thanks for the backup. How'd it feel? Now that you mention it, how is it the hilly trills ended up here? These creatures don't seem like the type to set up camp so close to cities like this. Exactly. It's more normal for them to be much further out in the wilderness. But because the dragon, Storm Terror, has been around a lot more recently, our orchards have been destroyed and the local market has been affected as well. When the storms hit, we usually end up with at least a few injuries, so the Knights of Favonius have been tied up doing the best they can to defend the area. So these annoying creatures have been getting closer and closer to the city? Exactly. That said, clearing this camp helped make the area a little bit safer. Come with me! A responsible knight must make sure to see you to the city safely. What should I cook next? Oh, are you travelers from around here as well? No, we just happen to be passing by. I see. Welcome, travelers. I'm Lynn, the survival expert of the Adventurer's Guild. As you can see, I'm experimenting with some new recipes. Eat before you go. The first picnic? Oh, Paimon just loves picnics! My 
travel partner here is good at cooking as well. Oh, there's a cooking pot right there. Show me what you got. It's good to have someone to practice with. There are some mushrooms and meat in the barrel over there. Try making... I'm the survival expert of the Adventurers Guild. Nice to meet you. Introduce the city of wind, dandelions, and freedom. Travelers under the protection of the Knights of Havonius, welcome. Finally, no more having to camp outdoors. But the city folk don't look too cheery. Everyone's been put out of place by storm terror recently. But everything will turn out fine as long as Jean's with us. Jean? Acting Grand Master of the Knights of Favonius, Jean, Defender of Mondstadt. With Jean on our side, surely even the vicious Storm Terror will be no match for us. Before I take you guys to the Knights of Favonius headquarters, I have a present for you, Traveler. It's a reward for helping me clear out that Hillitrol camp. H hey! Why doesn't Paimon get a reward? Uh, because this reward is useless to you, Paimon. But I'll treat you to a traditional Mondstadt delicacy. Sticky honey roast. Sticky honey roast! Come with me.
with me. We'll head to the city's, uh, high ground. a bustling street, but with so many storm terror attacks recently, the usual crowds are nowhere to be seen. Transfers of supplies must be reported. <sighs>
Animo protect you. Everything we have is a blessing from Barbados. those with a god's eye. May the god of Animo protect you. The folk songs here all surprise. I really envy those. Such a nice.
Thank you. 
squared it. want to give you is a wind glider outriders use them to ride the wind and the people of Mondstadt love using them too I brought you here to give it to you so you can experience it right away oh you're really excited about these wind gliders huh well that's because the wind is the heart and soul of Mondstadt uh, alrighty then enough talk let's give it a whirl it's easy to use, but you still need to pay attention to my instructions.
hurt? You've actually got the power to go up against the dragon. Are you a new ally? Or a new storm? Storm Terror is attacking Mondstadt itself! Kaya, Traveler, you've come at the right time! We must... Hold on, Amber. Are you perhaps forgetting to introduce us? Oh, right. This is Kaya, our cavalry captain. These two are travelers from afar. From afar? Is that all we know of them? Uh, long story short... I see. Welcome to Mondstadt. Uh, though you haven't arrived at the best of times, I'm afraid. I understand the anguish of being separated from family. I'm not really sure why you're looking for the Animo God. Oh, but everyone has their secrets, right? <laughs> Relax. I won't press you for more. First and foremost, on behalf of the Knights of Favonius, I would like to extend our thanks to you for your help just now. Ah, how about a traditional Mondstadt delicacy? Your fight to defend the city against the dragon just now was witnessed by no small number of citizens. The acting Grand Master of the Knights of Favonius is also very interested in meeting you, and for- be the Knights of Favonius headquarters. Let's head in. What's the hurry? I 
thought we agreed to meet them here. There have been sightings of storm terror outside the city. Once we meet, we must... Relax. I'll lend a hand when the time comes. Jean, I've brought them. <sighs> and once it was over, I brought them straight here. Monstat welcomes you, Windborn Travelers. I am Jean, acting Grand Master of the Knights of Favonius. This is Lisa, our resident librarian. <laughs> oh, are you sweeties here to help us out? <laughs> You're both so adorable. Sadly, the timing is regrettable. Storm Terror has caused quite a ruckus in the region since its recent resurgence. Simply put, Mondstadt's elemental sphere and ley lines are now akin to a yarn ball in the paws of a kitten. For a mage, it couldn't get much worse. My skin is one elemental particle away from a full-blown breakout. <sighs> if it weren't for this interference, the Knights of Favonius would have better ways to help you than just putting up missing person posters. We simply ask that you repose in Mondstadt while we help you seek out your sister. Good. In that case, we need a plan. With Storm Terror, Lisa has revealed the sources of Storm Terror's power with her detection magic. Is that so? They're located in the abandoned Four Winds Temples. Storm Terror's ability to whip up these kinds of storms can be attributed to it drawing power from the temples. Our objective is to deal with three of the four temples. I trust everyone understands why we are only dealing with three. Paimon doesn't. Knights of Favonius, time is against us. The storm is rampant. There is no point in maintaining a defensive position. Alright, we need to take initiative and act before the situation escalates. You're not bad with that wind glider. Your gliding style seems familiar. My eye patch. Want to hear my story, eh? I didn't have time to introduce myself properly. Uh, well, it wasn't on my mind to begin with. <laughs> my apologies. I'm Kaya, cavalry captain for the Knights of Favonius. We can talk more after we get things sorted. I know a great place more fit for a chat. You're not bad with that wind glider. See you later then. From now on, the adventures will probably get more and more dangerous. We should make sure we're prepared. We could start by going to Mondstadt's blacksmith. Over there. 
Take your pick. Or if you need something else, I can make it on request. Wow! He does bespoke weaponry? Of course! I sell weapons, make them to order, and do refinements. All in the job description for a blacksmith. All you need is the ore. Anywhere. Everywhere. <sighs> you look confused. Listen, I'll tell you where the nearest deposits are. Bring some back and I'll help you forge what you need. No need. I have other things to do. He seems like a short-tempered guy. Was it something we said? <laughs> This is it, one of the deserted temples of the Four Winds. These temples have been left to waste for years now. The people of Mondstadt almost never come here. There's a chance there's a monster nest or hillatrol camp inside. <sighs> Even Storm Terror has given up on its own temple. Yes. I also find it hard to accept, but Storm Terror was once one of the Four Winds. Wait! Did you just feel that? The wind here. Something's off. Let's go in and take a look. Be
You can use that console to open the door. Wow, I can see so far into the temple. barrels over there? Well, one shot should be able to blow them up! we've helped Jean out. In the past, we were at least able to defend the city and keep it safe. This, of course, is mostly thanks to Jean. But now with Storm Terror directly attacking the city itself, the winds change. So too should our tactics. It's what Lisa likes to say. Speaking of which, the four winds we were discussing earlier? If you want to learn more about our history, you can ask Lisa. 
I'm not saying I don't know our history. It's just, I mean, a librarian is supposed to be more knowledgeable than an outrider. Right? Well, this is the end of part two, so I hope you guys watch out for part three. I hope you did enjoy. Peace out.